<clears throat> Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. If there's one thing that you ought to know in this life, in this experience here on earth, is that there is a God. Now, the thing you ought to know is you have two ways to go about conducting or navigating your way through this, through your life. There's two ways. One is to acknowledge God. And two is to not acknowledge God. In the simplest terms, to not acknowledge God is to go about your life and to be a product of your environment and your culture and your environment and your culture promotes what you should have it promotes it dictates your culture and your environment will dictate your your disposition the things you aim for the things you value yeah let's just say you were born in a catholic family in europe well you're going to adopt the cultures the culture and the tradition of that environment and you are a product of the time and place that you're born technologically agriculturally and so on these are things that are going that make up your life you know like right now you're living a life where you have a cell phone and you have a car and um, you live in a machine of an economy or an economic machine and this is your role this is how you this is your experience in this world and you get up you do your thing and you, you play your part and this affects everybody it doesn't matter whether you believe in God or not you're going to be involved you are involved and that's one thing that just you cannot deny. No matter what you say, you are involved somehow. Now, you can be an individual who says, you know what? I want to check out from society. I don't want to do that game. I don't want to do the get a job or go for a career, pay into the system. I want to go live, uh, let's just say, in the middle of the wilderness. Or how about Slab City? I want to go live in Slab City. And just get a little trailer and that's it. Or you can be somebody who's on the opposite side of that spectrum and say, no, I'm going to be very, very involved. I'm going to play my part. I'm going to produce as much as I can and have the biggest impact I can. So there's that. So there are those things. And, and you can carry on with that life and that's fine. However... There still remains the two options of which are either you are a believer in God or a non-believer. Or maybe you don't know. Maybe you're not concerned about it. It's just it just hasn't entered into your mental space yet. You know, you're you're too you're just very involved with what you do. But if I had to say one thing to everybody in the world if, if I for some reason was given the voice or an opportunity not that that's my desire just saying if I had to go on the world stage the truly a world stage where everybody was paying attention I would say believe in God put your faith in the Lord understand God know that there's a God Press into the word. Seek the kingdom of heaven. Seek Jesus Christ. That's what I would say. I'd say, because what else is there? Your family, sure. Your friends, sure. Your work, sure. Your 
your desires, your habits, the little things that are the little idiosyncrasies that we all have. But but at the end of it all, my one thing I would say is you have to search God if you haven't already. And if you know God, great. Keep pressing in. And, and for those who are lost, just going about the world, my prayer would be, my, my hope is that you get to know the Lord. What else would I rather wish for? A good economy, for there to be peace on earth. Well, all that stuff, the good stuff, is drawn from the Lord. There is no reason to have peace on earth just for the sake of peace on earth. It may sound contradictory, but there can't just be peace. There has to be something more than that. And there is something more. Because peace is not enough. It's good to have peace, of course. Of course I would love to have peace on earth. But that's, that's not good enough. Because, sure, we can have peace between people and between nations, and that's fine. But also there has to be peace within our heart towards ourself and towards our perspective of the world. And if you don't have God, it, it, it doesn't work like that because too much of ourselves and our conditions skews the, the purity, the pureness that's actually out there given to us by God. So the message is this. Go to God. Go to the ultimate source, the creator, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. If you want a little, if you want a little head start in this life, and, and whatever that means, but if you want to be right, if you want to be whole, then seek God, acknowledge God. And I'm not trying to force this, but you just have to do it on your own because you can't force it. That's, that's the whole idea behind our, the, our free will, our, our, our freedom to choose. And if you're somebody who's struggling or you're lost, you have no purpose, there's no meaning, you have no aim, you don't have a excitement and joy within you, you don't wake up every day and you don't have this energy to, to just go out and be and to live. Um, the answer is not in drugs or alcohol. The answer is not in prescription medication. It's, it's in nothing else other than the Lord. You don't need anything. You don't need to go to a doctor and have them tell you that you need to do this and this and this and take these drugs and you, and you might be all right. The answer is God. There is your salvation. There is your joy. There is your eternity. There's your health. There's nothing God cannot do because God is God. God is the creator. He knows everything. Now you might start to draw up mental images in your head of what you think God is. And the good news is, is that as you press in, into the Lord, the Lord begins to reveal himself to you. And you will, f you will eventually find out that God is much bigger than what you can comprehend. The Bible says nobody has seen God at one time. Think about why that's written and think about the, the reason for that. Nobody has seen God at one time. Pray on that. Think about it. Because you might start to think of these conflicting ideas that you have. Or you might be a Christian and say, well, wait a minute. 
when Jesus came, didn't we? Didn't they see God at one time? So you need to press in because what can I tell you? Only God can reveal it to you. And we're all, we're all on this walk. We are all, we are all going through our individual journey. And I'm just going to finish with saying that your journey is going to be fulfilled once you once you give yourself to the Lord and you begin to move forward with the Lord. And that's all I can say. There's nothing I don't want to complicate this any more than it has to be because it's not that complicated. It's very intricate. Sure, there's a lot to it. God is amazing. God does so much. I mean, we can look at the world and, and, and view it as extremely complicated. And it really is for the, the, your average person or any, any person out there can look at everything and try to figure out how this whole universe, universe works. And it's just, it's too much. It's not your responsibility to understand everything. And hopefully this isn't rain on your parade, but you will never understand everything. But the only thing that's worth doing that you should, that you sh- that you need to know is that God is God. And I pray that you receive the Lord today. Receive that. Receive the love of Christ. Receive the wisdom. And let God just shine his face on you. Let him shine his light on you. And that's that's the message. And you might be somebody who's going through a really hard time. You might be lost in the world. Or you might have been a Christian who fell away. Or you might be a very, very, um, very pressed in Christian. And this message is just reaffirming your belief and sharpening your blade. Iron sharpens iron, right? So praise the Lord for that. But for those who are, are, are just struggling with, oh man, there's something lacking in my life. There's something lacking. You might have it all. You might have your house, your career. You might have your money. You might have your possessions. You might have all of these things, all kinds of things going on. You might be very popular. You might be high profile, high status, so on and so forth. But if you're still sitting there and feeling in your spirit and your heart that there's just something lacking, it's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the light. And Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. Whosoever shall follow me will not walk walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Press into the Lord. Thank you so much, Jesus Christ, for what you did on the cross. Thank you for salvation, mercy, and grace. Thank you for forgiveness of sin as we need it every day. Because we all sin, every single one of us. Nobody is perfect. Only God is perfect. And thank you, Lord, that we can receive that forgiveness and that mercy and grace through you. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. God, you are so good. Amen.